And the beautiful Tauruses, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Angel Land 333. Hope everybody is doing fantastic. Getting ready here uh, to do your love reading. We're going to just see what energy comes through here for you. So with that, Taurus, let's just get started. What can you share with Taurus in love? What can you share with Taurus in love? What do they need to know? Mm. That twin flame energy. Now in this deck, it could be a strong soulmate or twin flame energy I'm picking up here. Okay. There is somebody I feel, um, this is somebody that you know, okay. I'm going to say here, uh, what I'm strongly picking up, what I'm channeling, Taurus, there is somebody already around you that this person, they're trying to attract you in their life. So they could be somebody very, very attractive. I'm going to say you got this control card. This could be somebody who is trying to manipulate you. They could be a temptation. Um but there's a pattern with this person so i have to say this is somebody that you know so be cautious you have the ace of fire here this is definitely you know in the present energy this is present energy this person's trying to attract you okay now it may be that this person hasn't come forward yet take it how it resonates but i feel like there is somebody here that is going to try to uh have Huh, I have their way with you, have the opportunity with you, okay, again. Um, they're going to be somebody, you know, in this present attracting mo uh, energy. They're going to be somebody, I feel, who compliments you, um, who uh, kind of brings, uh, how should I say, they're going to act like they're very, like, gracious to you is the energy I'm feeling, but I would just be cautious, okay? The only reason is because you have this control card, which can talk about patterns, manipulation. Uh, could be somebody even moody. So um, they're coming towards you. They, they're, they want a relationship with you. That's the interesting thing about this. Now, I'm just going to say with that Five of Swords, it could be somebody that... Um, you know, you had a conflict with or, with, or you had an argument with, okay? But this person is looking at you like boyfriend, girlfriend material, or even uh, more than that is what I see here. So I am going to say here, um, it's a strong soulmate connection or twin flame. So let's see what your tarot has to say. Thank you, Spirit. What else can you share with Taurus? about this person definitely shows somebody who uh, desires you um, I feel like they're very attracted to you so let's see uh, what else can you share with Taurus about this person coming towards Taurus six of wands chariot you have the empress Queen of Pentacles, Justice, Eight of Wands, Knight of Wands. Yeah, strongly getting somebody returning in your life and the Five of Wands. See, it shows me there was some sort of conflict with this person in the past. Now, it could tell me, too, maybe it was somebody from the past that's returning into your life. Maybe it just wasn't the right timing for you and this person to be together. Because, because this control can also talk about trust issues. So this could be somebody, you and this person, um, this person is going to try to attract you but they could be somebody who has some trust issues. Okay, take it how it resonates. You have the Six of Wands and you also have here Justice. Now, could do be dealing with a Libra, Libra, also picking up strongly here a Fire Sign, an Aries, a Leo, a Sagittarius. This person's going to do something I'm feeling here to try and get your attention. And 
it has to do with this justice energy so I want to clarify the justice energy okay it's more about what they do here I feel it could be a confession it could be a truth it could be wanting to make something right with you tell me more about this justice energy yeah see Bo broken trust this could be somebody maybe you trusted this person in the past Maybe you, um, you know, I was going to say, maybe you trusted your heart with this person. Look at that. Here's twin flame again. And it also says here, divine connection. So this feels like somebody in your past that broke your trust. Somebody you have trust issues with, but somebody you felt very connected to is really what I'm getting here. Now, the Ace of Fire here with the Eight of Wands and the Chariot. This tells me with both these energies, there's some sort of movement here. That's a communication card with that Eight of Wands. Tell me more about this Eight of Wands. Look at that. Love. This says here strong affection. Look at unexpected. You're going to get unexpected communication from this person. Now I'm going to say if this person lives at a distance from you, that can also tell me that they're traveling towards you. So this could be somebody who is traveling towards you, okay, or just could tell me energetically they're coming towards you. Communication could even be a Cancerian. You also have here between the lines, look for what's hidden. See, old spark, ex-lover, yeah. I almost feel with this between the lines, somebody feels either things aren't over or there's unfinished business with you and this person. But I do feel, and it may, you know, somebody has trust issues here, is what I got because of some sort of conflict that happened between you and this person. And some of you, though, it could be that there's a pattern with this person. So you may very well have trust issues. Now you have the Empress and you have the Knight of Wands telling me uh, that this person is trying to attract you back in, in your life. You're showing up as the Empress. It's not about male or female, it's about the energy. They're very attracted to your energy. They may see you as loyal, reliable especially here too with this queen of pentacles that's your energy they may see you as patient feeling at harmony with you okay see i told you they're coming towards you in a gracious way is what i'm feeling here there's an energy they feel very a uh, tranquil uh, tranquility about you knight of wands they're returning Tell me more about this Knight of Wands. Tell me more about this Knight of Wands. Okay. Believing in the right timing. I feel like I, I said that, that maybe it wasn't the right timing in the past. Now you also have here, oh, finances, money on, mind on the money. Okay. Be cautious with this person. This could be somebody looking for something stable. Okay, they, uh, you, they could be money driven, doesn't necessarily mean that they're going after you because of money, but um, you know, that could be a possibility for some of you if that's something that your intuition tells you, okay, be mindful of that or if you've given this person money in the past. Now you have the Five of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. Tell me more about this Five of Wands. Tell me more about this Five of Wands. Fears. Interesting. Bottom of the deck here, you have the snake, not what it looks like, and you have hearing from them. So you're going to hear from this person. I feel like you're going to struggle with this person because, like I said, they broke your trust some sort of way in the past. You have between the lines, look what's hidden. It could be a situation where you never got clarity. Like, that's why I said that this person may be coming back around feeling there's unfinished business here. There could be, uh, there could have been other people involved here. 
that interfered in this connection um, or there this person could have caused some sort of drama in your life okay so it's like I feel like you're gonna get communication from this person and see this person looking at their phone like hmm what do I do with this that's kind of the energy I'm feeling and I feel like the fear here for you is because this person broke trust with you in the past okay um it's almost like i feel like okay what am i not going to see with this person you know and some of you it definitely it does feel like there was some sort of, of manipulation with this person so let's just get into um i feel like the energy is pretty clear here now you do have the relationship there. I want to clarify the relationship. Oh. You got the shapeshifter, another snake. Let me pull another one for that. Why is relationship here? Non-committal. This is a non-committal person, Taurus got divine feminine here this definitely feels like a twin flame it you know and i'm going to say this could be somebody that has been it's been a pattern in your life with this person this could be somebody who comes around um there could be motives here i'm definitely getting with this snake that maybe they're not pure motives like i said an example here would be a money situation Page of Wands here shows me this is somebody who is not consistent. So now it could tell me that relationship with somebody in the past who was non-committal. Doesn't mean coming towards you they're not non-committal. So I feel like what I'm gonna do is do what they're thinking, feeling, and their actions. What's this person thinking about Taurus right now? Knight of Swords, the Hierophant, your energy, and the Five of Wands. Well, definitely they feel, somebody ran here from this connection. Somebody ran from commitment. I'm going to read it as your person, but if it was you, you know, take it how it resonates. So it almost feels like... Um, something happened between you and this person could have been some drama argument conflict feels like it was never completely resolved and that's why either someone uh, left this relationship i feel or it never really feel it fully got to that place what's this person's upcoming actions towards taurus and then I'm going to get some uh, what they're thinking or feeling uh, love messages as well. Four of Pentacles, the Star, Four of Cups. Well, Six of Pentacles. They want to. They want to try to hold on to you. They have hope. But this person also it plays it safe there's an energy of here of feeling unsure but they're worried I also feel here that they could miss the opportunity with you I'm seeing pentacles here okay they could be coming to you for stability security let's say you know I definitely for some of you pick up a money situation Is this somebody, Taurus, that, who like runs towards you, like leaves and then comes back again? Let me know in the comments. What's this person's intentions coming towards Taurus? Judgment, re, okay, four of wands, huh, twin flame will kindle this connection, ace of cups, yeah. They're gonna try and start something new with you. They want your attention here, six of wands. interesting look at I moved the deck and look which card came out unhealthy attachment so this could be someone who shows up in your life you know whether this has happened more than one time or not 
um, but it's an un it's unhealthy because I feel this person uh, manipulates to get what they want. What else can you share? All right, with Taurus. Okay, I wish I could take back my words. Definitely feels like somebody coming back around who um, feels the two of you have unfinished business. I remember every detail of that day. So this person said something in the past to you that they keep thinking about and they wish they could take it back. You know, I do feel like this person has feelings for you. But I don't feel 100% that this person is completely honest. Um, I do feel like they try to manipulate to get their way. I mean, the intentions here don't look bad here, but their actions here, this could be somebody who gets bored easily. Hmm, look, I knew exactly what I was doing and that's that energy. See, they said something and I feel like they did something, but they knew what they were doing. And now they're coming around, it says, I want to be more than friends. So this could be somebody who is being very casual with you, couldn't commit in the past or stay committed. And now they want you back. I want to tell you how I feel and I hid who I really am. Well, that definitely makes sense because they tried to manipulate. They weren't being their true self. So you were the best thing in my life and I know I messed everything up. Yeah, so Taurus, uh, somebody here wants you back. They don't feel, they don't want uh, things to be over, but you always have free will and choice. So I'm going to leave it at that, Taurus. Uh, I hope uh, you enjoyed this reading. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you Angela.